Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. So there's another update for Ultimate Server Setup Rust, and I quickly want to show you guys what is new, and I think this is probably the biggest update so far. Uh, maybe even bigger than the release, because there's quite some bugs and things that have been added um, that I think is really going to make it a lot more useful and stable. So, as always, link is in the video description. Make sure you have WinRAR or 7-SIP or something installed to unpack it, and just put it in a folder it doesn't matter anymore if there's a space in the folder uh, we got that fixed so extract everything make sure you also have the .net zip .dol in the same folder as the program and then just run the program so it looks a little bit different um, but it's still exactly the same we merged step one and step two so there's only one step to just immediately download all the server files you don't have to first download steam cmd it does it all in one go so I'll just click download and it immediately starts downloading all the server files. Um, so I'm just gonna let that go in the background. So there used to be buttons here on the right. They have been relocated to a file locations here in the menu strip. And also update server is now under server options. And the idea is that there will be of course more and more features under server options. I have some plans, but I don't know what I will be able to realize. So I'm not gonna say anything yet in case I don't know how to fix it. So. Um, there should be more and more things coming up here. Um, so there used to be a bug that if you had a folder uh, with a space in it in the name that the program couldn't actually download the right files to the right folder. Uh, so we fixed that so that's a lot more stable now. So one of the biggest things that I added um, this update is the server variables. And server variables are basically settings you can put at the start uh, in the start file like uh, many 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 things. There's a full list here. This is for example the board population uh, bear population um, if it should generate path there are so many things you can set and this link shows all the default values and also the description so if you don't know what something means or you're looking to do something or set some sign of kind of setting just go in here and search through this list um, you can also just press ctrl f and for example search for max and you can see all the max values or max steps there's so many things you can like 45 things here um so these are all settings you can put and what i did is if you for example search for radiation or type r it will give you all the things that you can set and if you click on it and then click select it will load it up here and load the default value so you can then change that if you want for example radiation off if you can type you put false and then if you edit it gets added to the list so i'm just going to put this here and then once you're done and you actually want to use this just click done and it says locked so now you cannot click on it and change it anymore and if you now generate a start file it will actually also have the radiation uh setting so i will show that in a second also what i changed is there used to be a refresh button now when you open up this menu it just refreshes so there's no need for a refresh button so that's also a little bit more uh, convenient so if i just add another one when i click the list it just automatically gets added so that's also a little bit easier um so let me just show you uh once this is finished okay so that's done so let me just start the procgen server and then when that's done i will start up my game and try to connect to it so i'm just going to show quickly if i go to start file and open up the procgen and go to the end you can see here that it added the radiation setting so in the server now it should uh, have disabled radiation and i would only recommend to mess with stuff if you know what you're doing so there are a lot of things like i already said you can change i wouldn't go in and start changing definitely not on a live server of course mess with everything in a testing server and just see what it does i highly support that but if you don't know what you're doing and you think you know what you're doing don't put it on a live server before you thoroughly tested it if it even works because i don't know if any of these work and also by the way if you go to this list all the things that i thought um okay, for example day and month uh, are not a startup thing it's like a uh, comment you can run in the game so everything that i thought is a start uh a start file thingy with a default value is what i loaded into the program so some things don't have a default value those are not in my program if you still want to use those you could of course just go in 
and type it in here whatever you want type a value and just add it to the list you don't have to use the search if you if there's something new that i didn't add to my program yet you can just do it that way i'm sorry in the game f1 client.connect localhost colon 28015 okay so we're in the game and let's see if there is some radiation there should be radiation here right so radiation is indeed turned off i think all those little power stations have radiation right pretty sure but yeah i'm also pretty sure that it's working but i just wanna it would be like the best demonstration if i just go stand in the middle of launch site then everybody knows it's fully working but yeah trust me uh the radiation i tested and the, the script i tested and it's working so i hope that is helpful as always and download this in the description if you have any questions problems bugs feature requests let me know leave a like if it was helpful subscribe if you want more like this and keep updated um yeah stay updated thank you for watching i'm out appease <laughs>